Hello everybody, this is a different mod review than all my other ones because I'm doing a two part, two car mod review with different companies. That truck with the trailers from Greenlight, that excavator right here is from Bobcat. Alright, so I'm going to get into the Bobcat excavator first. Alright, so... This is a neat little model. Um, the blade doesn't go down though. It has some good detailing inside. It doesn't have the windows on it. It has that little light right there, which I wish they colored it in. Oh man, that weird dot. That dot right there. And it's a Bobcat 430 compact excavator. It has a little light up here. It. Alright, I'm gonna get into the function parts. Functions part. Let me get my iPod to stay up. My recording device. Alright, so. Sorry. I accidentally hit something. Um. It turns the roll, the tracks roll, move, goes up and down, pulls up. You can curl your bucket in a far movement. It goes pretty far down, if you are asking me. There's a number I like to make it even inside the two sorry my iPod keeps on falling down hopefully you can see it I'm using two more green light models I found out that these aren't the best for recording um let me just use this Oh, there we go. Alright. Let me put that one over here. There. Sorry about the delay. Um. So, as you know, it goes far down, it curls in. The bucket curls in a lot. It's a zero house swing. So, it turns in front, and you can turn the bucket. Any way to the cab I meant to say, any way to position it. Um, let me get the package for both of these. So, before I go on anymore, I'm gonna package that rain truck. set to go. Alright, so this was the card that it came in. It had like a plastic bubble thing on the front. Let me move the model over here. So it had a plastic bubble type thing. So it's, as you can see, it's a 430 compact excavator made by Bobcat. And the Bobcat logo is on the side. Each side, the back, and each side of the bucket, and up here on the boom. Alright. Diecast metal option operational booms 360 house swing. Alright. See, it's a seer dealer for the complete collection of Bobcat scale models. This scale model is the scale model not intended for play as a child's toy. Not intended for children under 14. And then they have 
that. It says Bobcat official licensed merchant merchandise. That's the Bobcat symbol. So there's a picture of it, and then there's another picture. The Bobcat 430 excavator has a zero half swing for easy spoil replacement and last chance for damage in tight spaces with the fast track drive system. It traveled twice as fast as other excavators. So that's probably the dot. Right there, I don't know. But my Bobcat skid steer loader, the 570, 5, or something, or two, hold on, let me go look. <clears throat> Sorry. I just really need to look at it so I can tell you what that what model has uh what what I have because it says Bobcat two speed. Oh that'll take me more than a minute I guess. I really just messed up my layout by a lot. Sorry. In both, it's a Bobcat S750. It's a two speed. So, a lot of these are two speeds. So, they're easy, they're better to drive faster. Alright, so enough with that model. Let me go put that away. I am gonna be, oops, sorry, I'm gonna be unboxing my Ram truck. I unboxed it already. I, just kept a little bit of the box just so it will stay safe. I don't want it to break or anything, so that's what I mean by stay safe. So I have to get into that one really quick because I may have to go to school really or really <laughs> soon. <coughs> Alright, so, this is a 2014 Ram 1500 and enclosed car hauler. And, just to get you so excited, and it says that. <laughs> this is a really nice model, I have to say. So is that Bobcat excavator, but really nice. Alright, first, let me get out the truck. I was going to do the trailer first. It's a Dodge... 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 and it has the enclosed car hauler which this crank actually works to keep it up so if you're coming home from four wheeling or something it'll raise on top of your on the top over your truck so you can keep it there Alright, so let me, that's one function, let me just get this all fixed up. Sorry, my dad's watching TV, that's what he does every morning. I'm sorry about my hand, I'm just trying to do the best I can. Just turn it, just turn it. Alright, so. It has a um, car vent as an air vent. The not say air vent. It has an air vent on the top to, so it, you can keep it cooled off. This is pretty much an off-road truck. Because of the, how the wheels are, um, how the wheels are made. They have like. They have like little like grippers, or like spikes or something. But this can fit all. I think all. Uh, besides the Dodge Ram and other pickup trucks, this can fit. Sorry about my iPad. This trailer can fit any car of. 
green light except for the um Dodge Ram. I tried it in there. I can show you why. That's my Shelby GT500. What else? 2010 Ford Shelby GT500. Then in goes my Ram. The mirrors hit the sides, and that's how far it goes in. Oh, there. That's how far it goes in. So, that model wouldn't fit because of how long it is. But, I mean, this is a nice model. Keeping it on display on my layout is, like, so cool. You would have to find another place to... You'd have to see where you could find a place that sells these because Toys R Us doesn't sell them yet. And there's some new news that's so sweet. If you ever watched Gas Monkey Garage, they are coming up. They're going to be making a... They're, gonna, they're making... They made cars of them, so they're going to be selling them places. And it's going to be really cool. Um... I don't know what ones they did for they did already, but um I hope you like but I don't I still don't know. I hope you like these models. It's really rare for me to do two models. Um check out your no, local hobby shop or Toys R Us or something for the green light models. Hobby shop probably for the um for that excavator which I got at um Outback Toys. I hope you like these models and goodbye.